Hi all, welcome to the coding challenge for beginners part three. So in this video, we will uh, learn how, how to find the missing number or numbers in a given array. So also we'll look into some of the edge cases also. Let's start. So I'm writing a function missing. It will take an uh, array as parameter. So now uh, I will write a console and I will uh, call this array with uh, some set of values like one comma two comma three comma six. Now this is my input. I'm uh, sending one, two, three, six as an input. So now the missing numbers should be four comma five. So my output should be four comma five. So let's start it. So we'll I will be taking one uh, array where uh, I will uh, push all the missing elements into that array. So I will uh, name it as missing array. Now, here the logic is we need to find out the minimum number of an array and also the maximum number of an array in a given array. This is because the array may be sorted or may not be sorted. We don't know that. But to get a, an optimal result, we need to find an minimum and maximum number in an array so that we can loop from minimum number to the maximum number, finding whether the number is there or not. So for that, let's understand. So we need to get a minimum number from the array. So for that, we can use math.min. So usually, uh, let me explain the basic thing like uh, how the math math.min will work for the list of elements like this. If we do like this, math.min, it will return one. So now math.min, if, if we, we can't give an array like this because it can only take the arguments, list of arguments. Math.min can only take list of arguments like this. We can't give an array like this. So for that, we have an, it means we need to convert this array into list of parameters like this. For this, that we have an operator called spread operator. If you give like this, it will convert this array like this, same as this, so that max.math.min can extract the minimum value here. So that's one thing we need to understand here. So one more thing, we now here we will be getting the minimum number one. So now we need to find the maximum number as well in the same way. Math.max will give the maximum number in an array. I mean, uh, in the list of arguments which we are, we are sending. So now here we'll be getting six as per our input, one, six. So why we are taking the min and max number? Let me explain you briefly. Like uh, if I take a loop, from where should I start? I should start from the minimum number. And I, I should go to the maximum number. In between what all the numbers are missing, I will push those numbers into this array. So that's the main logic I'm trying to build. So let's take a loop here, zero. The minimum value will be the value of the i. So that I will start looping from that number. So from one, I will start looping. From one, I need to go to the max number. So till the max number, I will loop this array. I will uh, iterate here. So now I need to check whether the element is present or not in the array. For that, I will take an array dot index of. What does this index of exactly does? So let me explain you about this index of. So we'll explain here. Index of is an uh, operator, is a function which is available for the arrays, it will give if the respected value is present in the array, it will return its position. If the element is not there, if the element is not there in the array. I mean, if the element is missing, so it will return minus one. So this is the clue we need to get. So if the element is present in the index of, we are not going to push that in the missing array. If that is not there, we are going to push that. It means 
if the element is not there, it will surely return minus one. So we are checking whether the element is present in the array or not. In the given array, we are doing index of i. I mean, from the minimum number to the maximum number, we are finding whether one is present in the array. Yes, one is present. So it will not, it will return the position of the one. It means zero, it will return zero. So we'll not, we can't go into this if loop. Now it will check if it is checked for the four. So four is present in the array. No, it is not there. So the, this will provide minus one. So minus one is less than zero. This is true. So we are, we'll be going into this if loop. If block. So now in this missing array, I will push the missing value i. So this is a logic. So let's check it once. Yep. So I got undefined here. So let me check the reason. So missing array, missing number, 16th line undefined. So yep, ha. we did not return the value. So that's the reason it is saying undefined. We have just extracted the, we have uh, formed an array all the missing values are present in that array, but we are not returning that value. That's the reason we are getting undefined earlier. So now fine, we need to return back the missing array so that the output would be four, five. So hope you understand this. So let's see for the other values. I mean, all other corner cases, like uh, I will take a negative value scenario, like uh, minus three comma minus two comma two, four, two, four, seven. So let's take this. So now you can see the output here, minus one, from minus three to minus seven. It will take the min value as minus three and max value as seven. So all the numbers between them, all the missing numbers will be printed here. So these all, all the missing numbers like minus one, zero, one, three, four, five, six, all these numbers are missing numbers. So hope you understand this. So let's take, one more uh, edge case like uh, we'll take only two numbers there won't be any missing numbers in between them so let's take that like one comma two so what we need to get we should not break the logic the logic should not break yes we'll be getting an empty array because in one two uh, there are in between there is no missing elements so we'll get an empty so in the same case we'll also check one more thing i will be sending an empty value so I will get an empty because nothing is there. So nothing would be missing. So this is all about finding how to find a missing number or numbers in an array. So hope you understand the logic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.